Today we're going to be looking at the most versatile holster system I've ever seen. You can do everything from level 2 outside the waistband retention to inside the waistband appendix. Let's take a look. What's up America? Neil here with Jaga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. As promised, we're going to be taking a look at the Alien Gear Shapeshift. It comes in this uh, starter kit, and let's dig in and see what this is all about. We're going to do the full review now on this Shapeshift holster. This is the starter kit from uh, Alien Gear. Now, one of the things that's a big deal to us, for those that have been following us for a while, uh, this is kind of a big milestone for us, but when we first got uh, involved in this whole YouTube deal and, and uh, training online kind of stuff, uh, for us, it was just about putting together videos in the beginning that was going to be for students that had already taken classes for me and just wanted something to review. And I figured we'd get a couple hundred, maybe even a couple thousand in a couple years, and that'd be the end of it. And it's really become its own thing um, over tens of thousands of subscribers later. And along the way, stuff that I used from companies I sent requests for, and obviously when you're first starting out, it's a business, I get it. Uh, people are like, yeah, well, we'll think about it, type of deal. And Alien Gear was one of those companies because I used them a lot. Uh, so let me just show you this. This is a big deal uh, for us. So this is uh, this is it, uh, the second shape shift to ever ship, and it's signed by uh, by Thomas Tedder, the CEO of the company. Obviously, nothing to do with the review. It's just a kind of a cool milestone for us at Jogger Farms Academy, and I wanted to share that with the people who've been with us from the beginning. All right, let's delve into this bad boy. So the shape shift, what does it do? Uh, it would be easier to say what it does not do. This is uh, the shape shift is actually a really cool name for it because it, it does a whole lot of stuff. Uh, you guys know I run most of this, uh, most of their gear, so we have. It's basically, in my opinion, going to replace everything they have. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's uh, it's better. This kit offers the options that it does is better than their standalone single holsters. Just my opinion, though. But this is the latest 3.0, uh, the inside the waistband, so it does this job. It will also do the outside the waistband uh, holster that they offer. Uh, this holster is pretty bulky. It's nice because it has the same kind of modular system and you can change it. But outside of competition uh, or like winter wear under your uh, garments, not really a super concealable holster, but well made. And uh, for competition or that type of thing or going to the range, this is pretty cool. But it definitely replaces this and uh, also with a better option. Let's crack it in the box. Now I tried to put some stuff back together, I've had this out, I've been wearing it, I've tried in all different configurations. Uh, so I try to kind of put it back the way you would typically find it, I did the best I can. But these two booklets, when you get this kit, don't just toss these out, believe me, you're going to need these. Uh, one of them is a actual, it's a, it's a parts kit layout, uh, because you'll see in a second, there's a lot of stuff in this box. Way more than you think, it's, it's actually a little bit overwhelming at first. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to need this. This is the, uh, the actual instructions, and it actually breaks down to all the different positions that you can carry and how you're going to put those together. Once you do it a couple times, it's super simple. It's just when you first see it, you're like, wow, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in there. And then, of course, when you, when you get the, the box open, you're going to see the, it shows you the four basic uh, functions or carry modulars that you have. And... Uh, on the top here, you're going to see the two backings, the, uh, just like the old, not old, but the, the 3.0, it has that backing on it, that neoprene. Well, they've got a new one now, yet another one, and I, this one is definitely far superior, again, just my opinion, uh, than the 3.0s or anything, uh, 2.0s or whatever. Uh, one, they're a lot more flexible now. Um, the, the material, like that alien skin, is, it has a cool, cool feel to it. One of the big, oh, huge, the, one of the, the gripes that I had with Alien Gear is that you could move these clips up and down and kind of adjust your ride height and your cant, but for me, I could never get a really, for sure, zero cant. And they fixed that. Of, of all the things I've done with this, this is the biggest. So as you can see, um, with this little mounting bracket here on the side, so those screws there, you can reposition those screws and so now I've set this up so it's a true zero cant. No matter what I do with these, uh, I can move the. I can now independently put the rise, how high or how how deep. In, I'm sorry, how deep or 
or how much higher I want to uh, position the actual holster as far as right height goes. But now I can independently control the can. So that was thumbs up, uh, two thumbs up to anything here on that. That was a big deal. Now, the other one, not that it's a huge pain in the butt, but there are these um, Allen screws that you got to take in and out to, to, uh, to change that along with the, the fittings in the back. Check this out. This is super cool. Now, we take our clip or loop or whatever it is. This is obviously the loop, which we'll talk about that. Check it out. 180 degrees. Voila. Check it out. No tools, no wrenches. Put it where you want. 180 degrees. And now it's locked back in. Brilliant. One of the other most important things about this, and, and since uh, I've known Alien Gear and their products, you won't be able to see it, but right here there's a little American flag. America. Okay? Can't pass that up. Now, you also have a second um, appendix also outside the waistband. Fear not, I'll explain that. But this is a second pad, same concept there. Flexible, but yet does have some rigidity. Again, you can adjust the cant there independently as well. And this is going to come in handy depending on how you're going to carry. So these offer a ton of options. So let's dig into the actual kit now. Again, I'm trying to put this all back together after I've used it and I've used it a little bit. So when you first open this up, there's all this stuff in there. And there's actually a thumb brake that uh, I already took out, which we'll explain in a second. Uh, one of the components that may be a little confusing is right here it says adjustable retention unit in that foam. And as you can see, it's not there. It wasn't there when I opened the box either. It's not missing, okay? It's already installed onto uh, the, the shell itself. So there's going to be a shell like you see it here, and that's already on there. So don't think that they, they missed it. Um, and this is actually a super cool uh, new feature as well. We'll talk about that. Okay, so then we have our basic shell holster here. I've uh, already took the liberty and put some some uh, the thumb brake on it, which we'll talk about. I got another model I'll show you without. Uh, we have an extra one of these, which will make sense in just a little bit. We got our little bag of accoutrements and wrenches and extra lock nuts and stuff like that. The one nice thing they did do is they labeled each little section so you know what was supposed to be in here. Uh, so if you're trying to dig around and figure out what, what's what. As you guys know, my big pet peeve when it comes to holsters, any kind, is that it has a loop system, something that's really solid. I, I totally, it's not an alien gear thing, it's an any holster thing. I just don't like plastic clips, I've t metal clips, any clip. I just don't like it. I would much rather have a loop uh, that's nice, solid, and secure. And this is, of course, what comes, uh, at least on mine, on the holster itself. But like I said, big deal, right? Because that's how fast it is to change it out now. So these loops that I prefer, they were sitting right here. So it comes with it. It's got, when they call this a kit, it's truly a kit. It has everything that you would possibly want. Uh, to to do and to configure your holster. So uh, along with that, we've got the C clips. If you like those, uh, the J. Oops, move this away. The J loops, J clips. They're in here as well. Uh, whatever whatever method that you want to use, that's it's all right there for you. Moving down to the uh, corner here, you're going to have this uh, wall mount, and uh, they definitely went the extra mile. Not only did they include, and this is a bonus uh, part now, I guess. Not only did they include all the hardware, all the screws, they actually included the drill bit. Uh, I mean, they, they thought of everything. And I'm sure that's probably your little instructions there. I actually do plan to install this. This is a really cool idea, and I'm going to tell you some ideas that I came up with this. But we'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, now, we have the... The uh, famous alien guy head here, the paddle, okay? And it's got this, like, uh, gear or cog uh, opening here, which is, is very cool. We'll talk about that. And uh, this is uh, this does have a really nice, solid, uh, close-to-the-body uh, connection for outside the waistband. You can use, and this is the one thing that you guys have known I've complained about, uh, alien gear has this belt slide, which you can take this off this paddle and use the belt slide. It's a rubber belt slide and I hate it. And I told Alien Gear about it uh, as soon as I got it. Uh, and they said that they make a, a different model now. So uh, you'll see in a second here, this really won't make any difference, but uh, this is the rubber belt slide. So you can use that. All right, moving over here. Now we have uh, our appendix, appendix clips. And it's just the uh, left or right side, depending on, on how you're going to build this holster. And we're going to do all this here in just a minute. 
and you're going to see depending on how you want to how you want to set this up but they uh, but that's what those are the appendix setup okay and then over here we have the outside the waistband belt slide uh, these are awesome this is the if you're going to run it outside the waistband on a, or any belt slide configuration these are the best I, I really really like these uh, you could now you'll see in a minute here run these competition you can run it uh, security you can run it uh, uh, concealment and then we have this little locking piece which we'll talk about in a second so that's all the components that you're going to find here along with your manuals and your shelves so let's just uh, take the shelf for a minute and take it apart and see how this works. Now that I got a, a guy at Alien Gear, I get some inside information and stuff. So as far as all the holsters that are available, uh, I have no doubt there's going to be a pretty big host of that. This is set up for the XDS 3.3. Uh, the Mod 2 is already done, and I, I have that one coming. And the XDM is on its way. There's 23 additional... Uh, guns that are being uh, that, are, that these are going to fit here coming out and again they'll, they'll update it on all the website there's going to be 11 different ways to carry this uh, holster all from this kit um, right now the way the kit is set up I can't think of too many ways you'd want to carry unless it's really what I would consider exotic carry models that you can't do with it right now so here's the two shells put together to make one the plastic material by the way uh, the, Alien Gear didn't use Kydex in the beginning, they used something with the B, I can't remember the name of it, that was supposed to be better, and now this is supposed to be better than that. Uh, of all the material that I've ever touched from Alien Gear, I've never, their materials have always been top notch, so uh, it has a very high quality feel and it always has, but uh, supposedly this is better. So here's how this works. There's these little locking nuts, uh, two of them, one on the top and one on the bottom, and all you do is turn them 90 degrees and they come right off. And there's even... Uh, the camera probably won't pick it up. There's actually arrows that even show you the direction. But once you do that, these two halves will then slide apart, like so. And these two halves now can be built onto different uh, different backings. Like if I want to set this up, and we'll do some specifics here. Oops, this one. And I'll show you how to turn this into uh, inside the waistband deal and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. But just to make it a uh, two-piece shell, uh, when you get it out of the box, again, you're going to have these two halves. And so inside here, there's going to be a groove and the actual rail itself. And then on the, and then the uh, I'm sorry, up on the, on the top. When you go to actually assemble them, you'll see at the very top, they actually label everything open, close. So you'll see the direction on how you're going to want to actually remove and, and put these back on. So close would go this way. So we're going to line up our, uh, our rails as such. So you, once you line them up, then they just kind of slide into place like that. Oops. There we go. And then you'll see that's all level and flush. And then to lock it back up, you just take your cap, put it on there, turn it. One on the top, one on the bottom, and voila. And now we've got the, uh, the holster set up for that. This little guy right here is your actual retention. The cool part about that, you can take one of these nuts off, uh, these lock nuts, and you'll see that there's a square part there which would fit actually into the little uh, adjuster, and that will actually uh, increase or decrease the amount of retention, the friction retention that you have. Uh, as it comes, it's pretty solid, it's not gonna come out of there. But if you wanted to, to modify that, you certainly can. So what can you do with this now that you have this attached? Well, on one side, we have that uh, gear end of things. So there it is in the, in the uh, holster itself. I just all I did was put the belt slide, or, or the uh, I'm sorry, the, the panel on here, just so you can see. Obviously, there's that cog end, and so that gear end is going to fit inside there. There's a little button on the side here. This will all line up into it, and once it clicks in, it's nice and solid. So that's not going to come out. Now. This would be ideal, the way this is set up right here, uh, for competition, because as you can see, it's very far from my body. And in this configuration, and other than the retention that's just on the holster, there's no you know, level 2 or anything like that, just a regular uh, friction retention. So for competition, this would be a, a, a really cool setup. A very easy to access and draw out very quickly. Locks in very nicely. Uh, with that, you're going to press that paddle, and that will remove it. Now, because it's a gear system, here's the cool part. This will be able to be 
uh, orient it any way you want. If you wanted to turn it this way, run at some funky angle for whatever reason, as long as it's locked in, you could. If you wanted to, I would imagine if you wanted to run it on a chest rig or something, or I, any way you want to configure this, whatever camp you want to use, you just press the little paddle, it will re remove it, and you can orient it any way you want. If you want to run it upside down, backwards, uh, whatever. Okay, so that's really cool. Now let's say, for example, that uh, this is how I'm wearing my holster for whatever reason, and I'm going to come home. Now that uh, mounting bracket, here's where that comes into play. So you mount this mounting bracket with the hardware I showed you. Let's say, for example, one idea I had with this is you could mount this on top of your door frame above your bedroom. And so there'd be no way that little children can get to it because it's obviously seven feet up. And uh, we'll talk about you can actually put a level two retention on it. And so when you come home, you can literally clip or press that button, which will release your actual whole entire holster unit. And let's say you were putting it up on that wall or whatever the case is. You simply click it into that and it is now in there. Obviously, just the, re the retention alone will hold it up, but we can also, in a second here, put a level 2 retention on there, which will literally lock it into place without pressing that. So if you wanted to access it, you could, all right? Um, you could mount this, I mean, that was just one idea, but you could mount this underneath the desk or whatever. Wherever you wanted to do, you do that. You press the paddle, or press the button that will release, and then we just put it back, make sure it's locked in and you're back onto your holster. So we can add a uh, retention device and with the magic of editing, there it is. So all we did was we added this uh, thumb release. So now we've got a solid level two retention. So it has the, the friction uh, for one and then two, we've got to be able to now press this paddle release to release the gun. And I prefer of all the styles of, uh, of retention, level two retention, I prefer the inner paddle. Uh, we know the other company that has one that's here. I don't really like that one as much as this one because I kind of naturally have that thumb press to release it. And so it's super solid. And again, you could wear it like this. Uh, if you were in some type of uh, security or law enforcement, this would be a, a, another option for level two retention. Pretty easy to take it off and mount it into some other vehicle or your house or whatever the case is. And this is all from the same kit so far. So, so far, we've got kind of the, uh, we have the regular just retention style kind of competition away from your body outside the waistband. We have the level two retention outside the body for security. Or if you're going to, you're just one of those open carry people and you really want to have that, as you should have some type of retention, you have that. A couple quick things inside the holster itself. It will actually give you the model, whether you can see it or not, it just says XDS 3.3. But the reason I took this one in half is so you could see the actual installation, how simple it is to go from uh, no retention, or I'm sorry, with uh, to add the level 2 retention, you're simply adding a little tiny nut that comes with the kit and uh, a, a screw. And you're just going to, an Allen Allen nut, and you just tighten it up. That's it. And then you can see how that locks right onto your trigger guard. So that's how it works. So if you don't want this on, you can simply remove it from this side, put your two shells back together, and you're done. Reassembly again, you're just lining up the slots. Slide it forward, simply as that, and then put your locking, whatever you want to call these caps, nuts, I don't know, whatever, and you're back. All right, so let's look at a couple more options. All right, so there's a 3.0, and let's say we want to make this our new, uh, our, our newer version of that, so we want to have an inside the waistband uh, concealed carry option, okay? So let's turn this into that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our shell, and it's already assembled, so I'm just adding an extra step. Just to show you how simple and easy this is, we're going to open it by simply sliding this forward, and then these two halves will come apart. And then we're going to attach them to our, our back end here. I simply take one half, and you'll see where there's these two slots, and they just fall into place like so. Then there's this uh, other piece that will slide in, and the cool part is this all just slides together, okay? Uh, before I do that, though, I want you to see this this other part of this installation because we're going to have to put the other part of the trigger guard on. There's your half. Here is your trigger guard piece, and it just lines up with its own slot inside here, and that will line up just that easy. So now that we have that, we're simply going to place that onto our backing, take our little locking piece, slide it on, take our little magic locking nut here, Put that on, turn it 90 degrees. Okay. 
Same thing with this side. Line it up 90 degrees. Again, if you wanted to change your, tighten or loosen your retention, you could. But now we have our inside the waistband set up just like the original uh, 3.0 or 2.0 or whatever version you want to talk about. And you're good to go. And again, if you want to move these out of the way or change them out, simply 180. That would change, uh, that can change your cant. You can change your cant also by changing the screws out. As you can see, I have it set up for the uh, zero cant. Let's throw it on. So we're gonna do like we normally do and put this whole deal in our pants here. Adjust it to where you want. Just for ease, I'm gonna use the clips to show you in this video. And there we have it on. So now we can go ahead and run our, our gun in there. Nice our gun in there nice and concealed and we're off to the races okay obviously I wouldn't carry it right there but this is just for demonstration so that's how easy it is so now we're gonna go from uh, what I would consider best for your your four o'clock position more of a pancake style and we're gonna go to appendix inside the waistband and we're gonna do this all with the same holster in real time so I'm simply going to unlock this side remove our clip off of here take the holster off so we're gonna take our padding here we're going to take our um, holster we just took off remember if you didn't just take it off another holster you got to make sure you add that little trigger guard so it's fully enclosed but we're going to slap that on there and that easy you're going to take your appendix clip that's on there and roll it or lock, slide it on here to lock it into place we're going to take our little locker lock that up again this no camera tricks that's how fast it was we went from inside the waistband pancake style to appendix and this way we can put our gun in there we have our clip so you're going to run appendix here we go put our little clip on there tighten our belt up i had to move it around a little bit to make it just right but there you go it's clipped in there so now we have our gun in there and now we're running appendix so now we're going to go from inside the waistband appendix to outside and we're going to replace this bigger bulkier alien gear uh, with an outside the waistband that's uh, in my opinion superior and let's do this real time so once again Remove your lock nuts, whatever caps, take your appendix clip off. We're going to take this um, trigger guard part off. Okay, you're going to have two new components here. So this first one, this is going to be our, uh, our new uh, trigger guard, which will slide into place like that. Put it back on our holster. You could probably do that without even taking it off. It's just that's the way I just did it. Then our, our outside the waistband belt slide will go back on. We want to lock both sides. So this side will go again 90 degrees. This side's done. Oops. Lock that into place. And now we have a belt slide set up. Again, with adjustable retention. And I'm going to show you this is going to be really, really tight to the body. So I'm going to show you how tight to the body this is going to be how this will ultimately work out now we can go ahead and holster up our gun that thing is super tight to the body as you can see here okay outside of the waistband i can still run this very concealed legitimately okay but then i still have access to it pretty quickly and it has really good retention there i'd probably actually even loosen that a bit but it's going to be really tight to the body and very secure because it's a belt loop configuration. So now that you guys see me put this in every configuration, uh, we did inside the waistband, we did outside the waistband belt slide, we did outside the waistband paddle, we did outside the waistband with uh, level 2 retention, we did um, inside the waistband appendix, pretty much anything that's going to fit somewhere around your body in any way that you want to carry this gun from level 2 retention to appendix, you can do it. And Although you saw me do that, it's really that fast. It's there's no, nothing fancy here. Now I've done this several times, probably half a dozen in each mod, just to get comfortable with it. So it's no big deal. But when you first get this, it can be a little overwhelming. So let's just look at a couple components. So Alien Gear really did an excellent job. If I could, I could give them props on anything. It's the material that they sent with this and how they laid it out. They did a really good job. Not only did they label each component in the box that we already showed you, but they give you this parts map, so to speak, okay? And so right here, it's going to walk you through everything. To carry appendix, here's the components that go with that. To carry paddle outside the waistband, here's your components. 
to carry inside the waistband. Here's your components. To carry slide outside the waistband. And so they break this all down. They break down all the parts. They even show you the, the, the mounting hardware, for, for crying out loud. It even explains to you the drill bit and everything. So they really were very, very thorough. Uh, and believe it or not, this is going to come in handy. On the back side, or the whatever you want to call this side, it's going to show you kind of a uh, schematic type view of each of the four um, configurations that we went through. So then they have, a, they did, whoever put this together did an outstanding job. This is the Shapeshift. This is their, their user manual for the starter kit. And I'm not going to bore you with this, but basically it's going to walk you through all the steps, step by step, how to do this. Everything I just showed you, it walks you through every single thing. It's got color pictures, it shows you arrows and directions. Uh, honestly, it's a pretty intuitive system once you start working with it. The first time you do have to, I have to admit, I had to read it a couple of times just to make sure what I was doing. But once we have that, uh, it's all laid out very, very well. And uh, even shows you how to mount everything and goes through that whole whole deal as well. And there's a pretty good idea, like I said earlier, under the under the desk type of a setup or above a door frame or something. That'd be pretty cool. I've watched Alien Gear and their components kind of evolve over time. And um, it's going to be interesting because the, to be truthful with you guys, the shape shift, I think... Uh, when I first thought of the, or heard of the concept, I was kind of like, yeah, jack of all trades, master of none. It's going to do a lot of different things, but n nothing really well. Uh, now that I got my hands on it, um, I, I was totally wrong. This is superior, in my opinion, this is better than any one of their single setups. So if you want to run um, an outside the waistband, this is gonna, whichever configuration, I would say this. So it'll be interesting to see how the other products are going to kind of survive, because in my opinion, this is the only one I would recommend you buy right now because I think it's the best. Not that there's anything wrong with the other ones, but this is definitely um, a next level. Uh, they really they really put their work into this. But Alien Gear has a really nice host of products now. Uh, keep in mind, we have the uh, the Alien Gear, which I love this belt. Uh, I wear it all the time. As a matter of fact, that I take it off just to use this core one just to make it easier for filming. But this belt, uh, and they have... Their, I don't know, Bigfoot belts is their offspring or their secondary name or whatever. But these belts are awesome. They're 7 ounces of leather on each side, spring steel, uh, cores. And when you add these to their products, I mean, this setup right here, if you're going to run outside the waistband and you want it concealed, this is a fantastic setup for this. This thing is super solid. Same thing if you were going to run uh, inside the waistband. Again, when you start running this through especially with their clips you start running this this belt through there this thing is solid it's very very solid setup i like how fast and modular the the whole platform is becoming now with these clips that come on and off like that super quick adjustments very little tools uh, with that i've had a lot of luck in training classes with these guys these uh you know not necessarily you can run them for concealment uh, they have a whole pad for that and any time you start running magazines, they're going to be bulky. I mean, it's just this one of the natures of the beast. But for outside the waistband and to throw it on a paddle, you can take it on and off. You can change the, the cants on these. They have the same kind of cog mechanism that the holster does. When you start putting this together, for not a lot of money, you're getting a whole lot of stuff. I mean, uh, I don't really like to get into prices because I don't know how long the video is going to be up and whatnot. But this whole kit at this time is less than $100. It has all these configurations. You add to it a, a mag pouch or two and a belt. Uh, and you've got a, a really professional quality gear that's highly uh, modular, high modularity. Um, I'll give you an example just off the top of my head. These guys right here, I love these when I take the training classes because you can adjust these. And you go, well, yeah, but you got screws in there and you got to adjust them. It doesn't matter. In the back of the actual, I mean, these guys really put thought in it. They hide an Allen key in there, so I can adjust that to fit. Uh, and honestly, uh, uh, one of my subscribers told me about this. I didn't even realize it uh, when they sent it to me. So that's innovation. I mean, these guys are really thinking. So this Shapeshift, I cannot give it enough thumbs up. I think it's a fantastic product. Uh, it, it'll set up any configuration you want. I'm excited to see the other things that they have coming. But right now, uh, I would highly endorse this uh, this shapeshift. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can go back to it. Hopefully it'll be a good reference for people about how to, if they forget or they're not clear on an instruction or something on how to 
change of configuration. Hopefully it'll be up there for that. Um, definitely encourage you to check it out. You, you will not be sorry with this product. It is, it is really, really good. Uh, you know how to find us, of course, on YouTube. Uh, Patreon. Patreon is going to be all our premium stuff. So all the A-level and training type of stuff, you're going to find that there. So definitely check us out. And for those that are with us on Patreon, we appreciate your support. As always, we appreciate when you share our videos. Uh, like and subscribe. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.